Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark again, Nuts for Art, and I thought I'd show you this web page. It's called the Independent WHO, the World Health Organization, is failing in its duty to protect those populations who are victims of radioactive contamination. Let's see if I can get that. IndependentWHO.org. And this is what started it all. This is what they're combating. The agreement, WHA 1240, between the World Health Organization and the IAEA. So this is really interesting. The International Atomic Energy Agency, that's the IAEIA, signed the agreement, WHA 1240, on May 28, 1959. One should note in particular, the International Atomic Agency and the World Health Organization recognize that they may, may find it necessary to apply certain limitations for the safeguarding of confidential information furnished to them. Wow. That means they're not going to tell us jack shit. Whenever either organization proposes to initiate a program or activity on the subject in which the other organization has or may have a substantial interest, the first party shall consult the other with a view to adjust, adjusting the matter by mutual agreement. Basically meaning the IAEA can squelch whatever the hell they want. You guys should come here and read this article and come to the independent WHO. Since the signing of this agreement, the WHO has shown no autonomy of actions towards achieving its stated objectives in the field of radiation protection. On the contrary, it has shown its capacity for misinforming the public about the health consequences of radioactive contamination caused by civil and military nuclear industries. The World Health Organization waited five years before visiting those territories that had been heavily contaminated by the accident in Chernobyl. They gave no instructions for evacuation or for the provision of clean food to the affected population. The WHO has kept hidden the health consequences of this catastrophe, especially by not publishing the proceedings of the 1995 and 2001 conferences. The World Health Organization still estimates the deaths caused by Chernobyl to be less than 50 and attributes the health problems of populations of Belarus, Ukraine, and Russia to fear of radiation. To fear of radiation. That's what caused people to get sick. Just like they're telling people in Japan, it's because you're afraid of it. The WHO does not recognize the validity of work published in 2009 by the Academy of Sciences of New York, who estimate the number of deaths caused by Chernobyl to be nearly one million. With Fukushima, the WHO has the same attitude as for Chernobyl. These people are complete monsters. This is why we have to support this organization. And check this out, their vigil. These are doctors who used to work for the World Health Organization. And they are talking about, they want that WHA 1240, they want it to be revised. So that we can start advising people of what the problem is. So, this is really great. So anyways, I don't want to go on for too long. I know long videos are a drag to watch, but I really want to get this up and encourage you people to come here. Oh, and then let me show you something else that I found while I was searching around for places to show you. I haven't seen much of it, but check this out. It's called